The modern Mercedes-Benz 4MATIC system is an all-wheel drive system that offers a lot of capability without adding much weight. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at how it works in the real world. This is the 2019 Mercedes-Benz S560. As you see it here, it's priced at $142,335. To see the full review, click the link right here. Under the hood is a 463 horsepower bi-turbo V8. It's connected to a 9-speed automatic transmission that powers all four wheels thanks to the Mercedes-Benz 4MATIC all-wheel drive system. Because it snowed right before filming, our test car was equipped with Pirelli Soto Zero winter and snow tires. Let's get into a little history. 4MATIC has been around since the 80s, but through the years it's gone through some significant changes. The first system introduced on the W124 E-Class used a complex mix of computers, multiple clutches, and a rear differential lock for on-demand all-wheel drive grip. Fast forward to 2019, and we're now on the fourth generation of 4MATIC development, the most recent being branded as 4MATIC Plus. That system is found in the fifth generation E-Class and select AMG models. The fifth generation system can send up to 100% of available torque to either the front or rear axles at any given time. In fact, in the E-Class, you can even completely disconnect the front wheels so it is 100% rear wheel drive when you want it. Like many other car makers, Mercedes-Benz continues to offer various flavors of 4MATIC across the lineup, with various vehicles using the much simpler second and third generation systems. The 2019 S560 we're driving today uses what would be considered the third generation of 4MATIC. This version was the first to be a true all-wheel drive, all-the-time system. Here I am lined up on an ice-covered parking lot. With a full throttle launch, you can see the rear wheels first attempt to find grip. Unable to find any, the rear ABS system cuts some power, pushing more to the front, which allows the S560 to accelerate. Here it is at another angle. You can see the back slips, power is transferred forward, and then with movement initiated, more power is then shifted to the back once again. Integrated into the 9G Tronic 9-speed automatic transmission, 4MATIC has a rear bias 40-60 power split. This is variable based on conditions and feedback from the traction control and ABS systems. Unlike proper torque vectoring systems, 4MATIC does not distribute power side to side. Instead, the Benz relies on braking power to shift torque from the left to the right. The benefit is that the system is lighter than torque vectoring systems, which often use multiple clutches in the rear drive axles. And really, in terms of safety and performance, 4MATIC does a good enough job for most drivers and most driving conditions. The downside is that it cannot overdrive an outside wheel while cornering to rotate the vehicle. In this way, other systems are superior in terms of capability and performance. Okay, now we're going to check the 4MATIC system and how it does with uneven traction. What I'm doing here is I'm lining up on this straight road and on the right I'm going to have two tires on slushy ice. And then on the left side I'm on wet pavement. So I should have more grip less grip. Let's see what the system does. We're going to do a full speed wide open throttle launch here and go. Ooh, straightens it out. In lower speeds it can use little wheel brakes to break up to three wheels to send torque to one wheel which is pretty different from other systems. Okay let's do one more test. What I'm going to do is I'm going to park in the shade where it's all covered in ice. Yeah, I'm actually slipping right now. Okay, so all four wheels are on ice. And we're gonna full throttle and see how the all-wheel drive system does. And go. Oh, I can feel it, yeah. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, we got grip now. Formatic is a good system in that it does provide all-wheel drive capability at all speeds, all the time. It's also light, so economy and handling performance don't really suffer. Depending on which Mercedes you're looking at, the exact torque split may vary, but overall, they provide great handling in a variety of challenging conditions. Do you think Mercedes-Benz should move to a torque vectoring system like Audi or Acura? Or is a lighter, simpler system better? Leave a comment below. 
Also, be sure to subscribe, rate, and share this video. I'm Ryan Douthit for Driving Sports TV. Thanks for watching.